Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, this is a very short news update. I just wanted to report on a recent uh, visit I made to the Houses of Parliament in London, the uh, home of the uh, United Kingdom government. Uh, and I waited very nervously outside committee room number 16 uh, in the House, House of Parliament, uh, where I later sat in front of a panel of uh, MPs and uh, government ministers to give my opinion on the upcoming automated and electric vehicles bill. This bill was announced in the Queen's speech at the beginning of this parliament, and it is to enact legislation to allow for fully autonomous vehicles to use the public uh, road network in the UK and also to increase encourage and facilitate the uptake of electric vehicles. And it was quite terrifying. I mean, I've been to the House of Parliament before when I was a kid. My mum took me and I watched Margaret Thatcher speaking in the House of Commons. But I haven't been there since. And this was a very different experience. Now, this particular meeting was for the Parliamentary Scrutiny Committee on this particular bill. And that's where they go over the bill line by line and they invite in uh, experts and professionals in the field that they're, they're dealing with. What was fascinating was the scrutiny committee's enthusiasm for this bill. It's a cross-party uh, movement to encourage the uptake of electric vehicles and to facilitate the use of autonomous vehicles. There seemed to be general consensus that this was a vitally important technological transition. Some of the MPs I spoke to do drive electric vehicles and the, the, the section that I was particularly uh, invited in to deal with was the development of the public charging infrastructure. How, where do we put it? How do we pay for it? How do we as consumers pay for the electricity that we use as we drive around the country? Now this bill, if it was passed, and it looks like it will be, uh, would, would uh, enact legislation that meant every single uh, petrol station, every single filling station, every single gas station in the country would have to have a rapid charger installed. Now as you'll see on next week's episode of Fully Charged, uh, some garages are already doing this. Now I strongly argued for a frictionless, simple way to access public chargers, where you have one thing that allows you to access all the chargers that are publicly available. One app, one card, one dongle, like they do in most of mainland Europe, and particularly in Ireland and California. Now, I don't want to go on about the, all my answers now. If you want to have a look, and it does go on quite a bit, uh, you can follow the link that's uh, beneath, this, uh, beneath this video, which takes you to the UK Parliament website. Their streaming services are awfully good. I did go on a bit, and the chair of the committee did ask me if I could be a little more pithy in my answers, which is a sort of very polite parliamentary way of saying, can you stop droning on and waffling, you daft old man? However, it was a fascinating insight into the complex workings of the United Kingdom government. I mean, the session that was immediately before mine was very much dealing with autonomous vehicles and their impact not only on uh, you know, how we use roads, but also on jobs. I mean, there's a lot of people who earn their living driving things, trucks, buses, taxis, you know. The insurance complexities of driverless vehicles. The fact now that 89% of fatalities on the UK's roads are down to human error. And as I walked through the streets of London after I left Parliament, I was reminded once again why we really need to speed up the transition from the old technology we use. The streets were, of course, crammed with diesel vehicles, taxis, buses, private cars, delivery trucks, all spewing out toxic particulates with wild abandon. A very damning report by a man called Tom de Castella uh, on the BBC News website uh, revealed that the, the, the latest so-called new clean diesels are actually worse than really old diesels when they're tested in real world conditions. It's all about the tests. It's a truly brilliant and very damning report and it's really worth reading and once again the link is down below this video. Anyway, that's all. It was just a quick update. Uh, um, once again, of course, made possible by our fantastic Patreon supporters who, who are the people who keep this show going. So I quickly want to thank a handful of people whose uh, support Fully Charged on Patreon for $10 a month or more. It, it's incredibly generous of you. We really appreciate it. It's what keeps this show going. So I'd like to thank Ralph Jensen, the Knight of Loxley Farmlet, who Thea Hewitt asked me to include, <laughs> Raphael, James Westwood, Thomas Wolfe, Adam Hale, and Scott Crawford. Thank you so much. Brilliant to have your support. Uh, please uh, do subscribe to Fully Charged if you haven't already. There's a lot of really brilliant shows coming up very soon. Uh, please have a look at the Patreon link that's beneath all the other links. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.